You can add chat commands to your TikTok live stream using this one simple program. It is not as easy as using stream elements or streamlabs on your Twitch stream or YouTube stream, but it does get the job done. It is a bit different, but I'll show you how to set up everything in today's video. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. So like I said, you can actually set up your TikTok live stream chat commands. We will be using a software called Tickfinity. I've made a lot of videos on it already. If you haven't seen it, Make sure to check them out. But all you'll have to do is either download the app or use the website version. It's the same thing. All you'll have to do is just go to the link down in the description below, download it, install it. It's super simple. Once you do that, you go to the start and then connect your TikTok right over here. So you click connect and it will be connecting your TikTok account to Tickfinity. Once you've done that, you will see your username in top left is going to say disconnected. Click to connect. That's totally fine. That is because you're not live right now. So now all you'll have to do is either go to chat commands or chatbot. If you go to chatbot, you can see all of the default chat commands over here. As you can see, there is quite a bit of them. But how do the actual chat commands work on TikTok live stream? Like I said, they're not the same as on Twitch where you have Nightbot, Stream Elements, Streamlabs, whatever bots in your chat. You will be using your own account to showcase the alerts on the stream as the chat commands. So it is a bit different because TikTok does not allow the actual bots to be in the stream, but it will get the job done and you will be different than the other streamers. So you can see all the commands over here. That's totally fine. We need to enable the chatbot. If you go over over here on top, you just click on enable chatbot. And as it says over here, please keep in mind that your account is used to send chatbot messages. Make sure that all the messages comply with the TikTok rules. Like I said, you will be using your own account. So be careful not to have some weird commands where you can potentially get banned and you don't want to do that. So if you've done that, that's perfect. Now we can go to chat commands over here and we can see a bunch of other commands. So you have the help command, points, uh, points transfer and all of that other stuff. If you're using Tickfinity, your viewers will be earning channel points. So they can transfer those channel points between each other. They can do whatever with these other commands, like I said, over here. So that's pretty cool. You can use like some different things, like I mentioned in the other videos where they can redeem those channel points for different things like wheel of spin or whatever. And if you have all of these things set up, that's totally fine. Now we need to add the custom commands. So what we need to do is go to actions and events over here. We click on that and then you will see a bunch of different things over here. So first things we need to do is create a new action. So what we'll do over here is basically make a command. Keep in mind on the free version of Tickfinity, you'll be using only five actions if you want to use more than that you will have to pay for the pro version and keep in mind that if you want to have like the alerts you will need three of these actions for follow subscribing gifts if you watch my other videos you will know that so you will have two more actions or two more commands you can set up apart from these three so click on create new action and then over here you can name the action whatever like the command so let's say we're doing socials or we can do for example twitch and then go down here, you can enable either the show animation, play audio, play video, whatever you want to do. You can even do read TTS. So like it reads the command out loud. So let's do read TTS. We're going to say agents Twitch is and then we can do twitch.tv slash agent over here. Some people say that mentioning your other streaming platforms while you're live on TikTok can lead to like a shadow ban or something. I'm not sure how real that is and how true that is. But we're still going to keep this command right here. You can name it whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. Read TTS. That's fine. Show animation. We can do that if we want. And then what we need to do is send chatbot message, which is going to be the same exact thing. So we do the same chatbot message over here. And the other things are all optional. Display duration. We can do that like for three seconds or even like, yeah, let's do three seconds. That should be fine. Add points, remove points. That's if you want to have them use their channel points when they're doing the chat command. So you can do either add or remove points. Everything else should be fine. Enable fade in. And that's it. So we click on save over here. And now we have this thing set up. So how do you actually set it up? So when somebody mentions that command or when somebody uses that command, it shows up on stream. We have to go to events over here, create a new event. And then when everyone, so who is able to trigger the event? We do everyone. So like everyone can do it by what will be event uh, triggered by doing a chat command, which is commenting a command right here. And then we do what the command is. We can do uh, Twitch. So now that we've done Twitch over here, 
Uh, we can do required TikTok stream level. This is all zero. Leave this on zero so everyone will be able to do this. And then trigger all of these actions. It will trigger the Twitch action that we just added. And now we click on save. And now we have the Twitch command set up. So how do we know that it's working? We need to add this overlay over here as a browser source on either our TikTok Live Studio or OBS Studio. So we just click on this thing right here and then we add it as a browser source. So if you're using TikTok Live Studio, all you need to do is go to the add source over here. I'm currently using the compatibility mode, but you can do whatever, either horizontal or portrait. Click on add source, click on link over here and then click on add. Once you've done that, you just paste in this copied uh, link that you have, the browser source, turn on the sound if you want to have the sound play on the alert, if you have it set up, add source, and now we have the source right here. So if we go in, it's right over there, same as the portrait, it's right over here. How do we test it out? We go back to Techfinity and then we go into the play button over here next to the command itself. So if you click it, agents twitch is twitch.tv slash agent. So it reads it out loud, but it's going to say you need to go live to send chatbot messages. So it will not show it on the stream itself because we're not live. But as you can hear from the TTS, it does work and it is playing it out loud. So that's good. That's perfect. Now, how do we make it so there's like a command list so people know what commands they can even use? Well, good thing that Techfinity already has that set up. How do we set it up? I'll show you right now. So if you go to chat commands over here on the left, you can actually see viewers can list them using the following commands. The output is shown in the command info overlay. So we click on the command info overlay. It's going to scroll down all the way. And we have this other browser source that we're just going to click on copy over here. We're going to add another browser source to our TikTok uh, live studio or OBS. It doesn't matter. Add source. We click on link, add, and then we paste it out add source again. So now we have another one. I should have named them separately. So I know which one's which, but this one should be the actual list. And now this one is on the bottom. That's totally fine. And now how do we test it out? We click on test. We go back to TikTok, And now you can see over here that the global commands are showing right over there. So it's going to list them out just like that. So people can see which commands you have set up and they know which ones they can use. So you can just test it out right here, click on test, and it will be showing it right over here. It will be working all the time while you're live, so you can adjust it wherever you want. And then, you know, it's gonna show that in the corner so people know when they can just type in commands like Twitch, socials, or whatever other thing you want to set up for your TikTok live stream. And that's basically it. Like I said, it's a bit different than Streamlabs and Stream Elements version on Twitch, but it does get the job done. If you guys did like the video, make sure to drop the like. I would very much appreciate it. And if you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. If you want to see more of my Techfinity or TikTok live studio guides, make sure to check out this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Peace out and have a good one. Bye bye.